I want to show you guys how to write a Dart unit test that requires the HTML package. So here on the right, I have a simple customer web page with two customers. I can merge them, and I've added a feature that will take a fragment from the URL, the window location, and it will show that third customer there, and I can merge that customer in, and it'll it'll take him in. So what I first want to show you is the customer location parser. So this guy is using the window location and he's getting it from the Dart HTML package and then he's doing some work on it to parse it out. And here's my test. So I have customer location test. I kind of have the fragment at the top here. Make a new customer that I expect and then I parse him out. So let's try to run him. And what you'll see is I actually get an error down here that says that the VM doesn't support Dart HTML. So I can't actually run this test from within the regular VM. So you have to create a new HTML file to run the test in. So here I have one already set up. What you can see is it's very basic. I have a text ID um, paragraph. I point to our test file. I also have the unit test controller, so you need that. And then I do the packages browser Dart.js so that I can also run this in Chrome or Firefox too. So let's go ahead and show you real quickly that PubServe actually runs or serves up the test folder. So you don't have to do anything special. It's already serving up the test folder on 8081. So if I go to this file in Dartium and go ahead and run this, what you'll see is you, you won't see anything on the screen right away but you'll see it in the console down here that one test had passed. So if we go back to our Dart file, I'm going to paste in these imports. You can actually import the HTML config or the enhanced config from the unit test library. So all you have to do is use these imports. So let's do the HTML configuration first, refresh the page, and then you should see the output on the page itself. Awesome. So I see my one pass one test is passing. So let's go ahead and change that to the enhanced config. And this is basically just a prettier output so you can quickly see what's going on. Um, you can click on the group and see which tests are passing. And if I go ahead and make one fail, let's change this to green. And then I rerun the tests. You can see that now it's failing. Awesome. So you can actually run the tests in Chrome. So I mentioned that earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and take this URL and open it up in Chrome. And it'll take a little bit of time uh, while it runs the Dart to JS on all the files. But once that runs, you'll see it looks exactly like it did in Dartium. So that's how to write a Dart unit test that requires HTML. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.